I think it's fantastic to see the level of skill that these sailors all have. A few of the races, the whole fleet finished within about 15 seconds, and it's a tribute to the, the skill of all the sailors. They're very uh, athletic uh, boats as well, so the sailors are very, very fit. San Francisco is definitely the best venue in the world for a spectator sailing race. Any shot you want to get, you know, downtown, the Gold Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, and then with the wind, there's just nothing but action on the boats. It really made me happy to see San Francisco put on such a great show. I think it lies in the relationship between Nathan Outeridge and uh, Ian Jensen. Ian knows exactly what Nathan needs. So they're just very, very consistent. The old traditional boats all kind of lumber along about the same speed. It's very tactical, it's very strategic. It's, it's all about positioning yourself relative to the fleet. And I think for spectators, the high speed boats are much more entertaining and easy to watch. But if you're the sailor, the tactical and strategic elements of the slower boats is very, very fun. You know, the team that's impressive, obviously, is the Brits. They've really improved a lot and they showed a lot of potential. Let's say Australia is going to come back tomorrow and be in the finals against Japan. In the finals, and I think Japan's going to take it. That's my prediction.